warm welcome to a place that prides itself on being one of the homes of football and what a sight it provides. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. And the spectators rise for the national anthem. So, Jim, any individual performances which are worthy of note? Yeah, Marquinhos, he's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him, making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Uh-huh. Underway. He'll be penalised for that. on by winning a corner. Away to safety. He's won that physical contest and with it the ball. Vinicius Junior. He's there to get it back. The danger was there, he dealt with it well. Takeda, Vinicius Junior, cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. A strong challenge, but one certainly within the laws of the game. on he goes opportunity for a goal a fine stop by the keeper I thought he was magnificent then he had no right to get anywhere near that what a save away in a fairly no-nonsense fashion. Down the middle it goes. 
Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. He's trying his luck. Right time, right place. But I'm afraid the finish wasn't up to it. Well, the last line of defence came to the rescue when the lines in front were looking too clever. Good stop. They are. Who can latch on to that? Just to point out that the fullbacks are quite high. It's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Good strength, just wrestled him off the ball. Played in accurately. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. The ball didn't quite come off, could have been a very different outcome. Brazil just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. That looked a foul, and the referee's given it. Get it away. Forward it goes. Pass cut out. And he's made sure that's not getting through. Vargas looking to exploit the space. They get it clear. Paqueta. Luis. Marquinhos. Bruno. Knocks it through. Plays the ball out wide. It's through. Puts one in. Danilo. Is it this time? Who can latch on to that? Marquinhos. Vinicius Junior. Well intercepted. Saw the danger and got to it. Played towards the right side. Determined to make his way through. And he'll shoot here. Paqueta. Vinicius Junior. Arana. The whistle goes to signify half time. I think both sides were playing for this towards the end. They battled so well today. Brazil off to a huge ovation. Such a tight contest, nothing at all separating them. So, here we go then. So the teams resume. It's hard to believe that this match is still goalless, bearing in mind all the attacking football we've seen. Foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. Well, I wasn't expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close, and he would get the keeper on his toes. Luis. Bruno. Knocks it through. And he's been given offside.
Marquinhos. Paqueta. Marquinhos. He shoots there. And they get it away. It is good to see a forward tracking back and defending like that from time to time. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. No, they've been thwarted. That's clearly not what he was hoping for. Played down the middle. Chance to counter it takes a shot. Oh, it was such a close call, but it looks as if the assistant got that one spot on. They are. No, the defence alerts and picked out the danger. Brazil giving it back. Good clearance there. They got a throw in. <laughs> Losing his footing. Oh, lovely feet. Promising to start with, but things quickly went awry. Forward it goes. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Bruno. They get it clear. Arana. Luis. Looking to exploit the space. Brazil showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Brazil looking to tighten things up. Vargas. Is picked out nicely. They are. Calvo. Aguiar. Who can latch onto that? And the ball changes hands again. Aguiar. Going alone. been caught there, definitely a foul. And the referee just wants to have a word with him by the looks of it, probably about keeping his composure and his temper in check. <laughs> Hit long by the keeper. I think the key for this game now is who can show that extra little bit of composure on the ball. You can't lose it like that. Oh, simply breathtaking! Oh, yes! Oh, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
There's plenty of activity down by the touchline. Looks like we're going to get a substitution. Brazil have their lead now, but can they hold out for these last few minutes? Well, I think the last few minutes of this game will be fraught for players and fans alike now. I think they're about to have everything thrown at them. Brazil only have to run down the clock now. Brazil certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. They are. It's true. It's a possibility here for a shot. He's within range. Shouts from the fans. That's it. After much consultation with his stopwatch, the referee has blown for time. Who knows what might have happened if we'd had just another five minutes. In the end, they were desperately hanging on for the win. There was only ever going to be one winner. Right from the start, the victors showed their hunger and their determination. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me, John Champion, to thank Jim Begbin alongside me and to wish all of you a very good evening.